Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Is labor more painful after a sweep? Membrane sweep this separation releases hormones, prostaglandins, which may start your labor. Having a membrane sweep does not hurt, but expect some discomfort or slight bleeding afterwards. If labor does not start after a membrane sweep, you'll be offered induction of labor. How long does it take to go from 1 cm dilated to 10? During the active stage of labor, your cervix dilates from around 6 cm to the full 10 cm. The last part of active labor, when the cervix dilates fully from 8 to 10 cm, is called transition. This process takes about 5 to 7 hours if you're a first-time mom, or between 2 and 4 hours if you've had a baby before. How do you know a sweep has worked? If you start to feel period-like pains within 48 hours of the sweep, then it's likely that it's worked and labor is starting. If nothing happens during that time, then you can have another one the next time you visit your midwife. It's usual to have up to three sweeps and then an induction will be discussed. Can a sweep break your waters? There's also a risk that a stretch and sweep could break the amniotic sac. This is sometimes known as your water breaking. Some women can have irregular contractions, and they may not necessarily lead to labor. Does membrane stripping hurt? The procedure can be uncomfortable, and most women feel a bit of pain and tenderness afterward. Some women also experience minor bleeding. It is essential to let the doctor know immediately if severe pain or bleeding occurs during or after the appointment. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.